Today, we are going to set up a worksheet for practicing colored pencils. So you wanna try and find a piece of drawing paper and not computer paper, even if it's a piece of paper that you drew something on previously or it has holes in it, that is perfectly fine for a worksheet. Just use the back side, okay? Now you're going to take your piece of drawing paper and you are going to create a half inch border going all the way around the paper on all four sides. Please use a ruler to make half inch marks at the top and bottom of each side and then connect your lines. Next, place your ruler on the left side of the paper and mark three inches at the top and the bottom, and then go ahead and connect your lines. Next, I'd like you to measure three inches again on the right side of the paper and mark the top and the bottom, and then go ahead and connect your lines. Now that you have two three inch columns on the right and the left, your center column is a little bit larger. Three inches is exactly the size of a post-it note. So if you have any post-its around the house, this could be a very helpful tool to gauge whether or not your box is even in the center. If not, please just place your ruler three inches and leave a little bit of space on each side. It is not important if your boxes are perfect or exactly even, but as long as you have roughly the same amount of space on all three columns. Again, this does not have to be exact. Please try to get as close as you can. Now you're going to turn your paper and you're going to repeat the process of measuring three inch boxes. You will again have a three inch box measured from the left side towards the center and another three inch measured from the right side towards the center. Once you've made your three inch measurements, you can go ahead and connect your lines and you should see two three inch columns and then in the center you're going to have a strip of blank space. When you complete the worksheet you should be able to find six boxes that are very close to the same size and then you should have some border space now in between each of your boxes. You need to record the labeling for each one of these techniques. The first one is the intensity change. So write that on the top and the bottom of the worksheet. In the center, you'll have warm analogous colors on the top and cool analogous colors on the bottom. This means that your colors will touch each other on the color wheel. In the last column of boxes we're going to practice using complementary colors so you can write complementary on both the top and the bottom so if you look at an example of the finished worksheet you're going to be drawing two spheres with complementary colors you need to find some sort of circular object that fits within the box like a jar lid try a yogurt cup a water bottle just make sure that the circle fits within. Go ahead and trace one on the top and then another one on the bottom. So when you have finished the worksheet, you should have six boxes all labeled. Remember, the boxes should be roughly the same size. 
but it's okay if they're not exactly perfect.